The LC500 is Lexus' new luxury coupe. It wasn't made to boost Lexus' sales numbers. In fact, they only expect to sell around 4800 a year. Instead, this car was made to be the new face of Lexus, a symbol of luxury and performance, and it most certainly is. The first thing to notice about the LC500 is its smooth design. I personally think the LC is one of the most beautiful cars available today, up there with the Audi R8 and Ford GT. A lot of people don't really like the Lexus spindle grille, but I think the sharp lines and 3D mesh make the front of the car look sharper and sportier. As for the stunning LED projector headlamps, Lexus claims they're the thinnest in the industry, half the size of normal lamps. In the rear, the lights are once again the feature point. Each taillight uses two mirrors and 80 LEDs to create a spectacular tunnel effect. The car has an overall drag coefficient of 0.33, thanks to the perfectly curved coupe shape. Many say the interior of the LC is nearly as stunning as the outside. In fact, it even achieved a spot on the Ward's Auto Top 10 Best Interiors list. Now Lexus is first a luxury brand, so the interior of the LC500 is comfort focused, with a few sporty features thrown in besides. Unfortunately, some of the things in the car are a little quirky. I'm not a big fan of the knob sticking out of the gauge cluster or of the funky door handles. However, on the plus side, Lexus offers tons of creature comforts, such as a heated steering wheel, leather and Alcantara seats, surround sound, and more. The technology in the LC also adds to the comfort of the car. One interesting feature is the touchpad, which controls the display screen remotely, or you could just use the standard voice command system. The changeable gauge cluster is more driving focused, and was inspired by the cluster in the Lexus LFA. Underneath the hood, the LC uses a 5 liter V8 derived from the one in the Lexus RCF. A V6 hybrid version is available, called the LC500H. The V8 produces 471 horsepower and 398 pounds per foot of torque, while the total output for the hybrid model is only 354 horsepower. For those interested in the efficiency, both the hybrid and V8 versions of the LC are Atkinson cycle capable, and the hybrid gets a 30 mpg to the V8's 19. The LC uses a new front engine rear wheel drive architecture, called the GAL. Lexus says it's the stiffest monocoque they've ever produced, and plans to use it in the new Lexus LS. All this comes with a price tag of only $92,000 for the V8, $96,510 for the hybrid. As for performance, the LC500 far outperforms its hybrid counterpart. While the LC isn't a numbers car, it does have a top speed of 168 miles per hour and 0 to 60 acceleration in 4.4 seconds. The LC500H tops out at 155 miles per hour and 0 to 60 is 0.3 seconds slower. While Lexus has yet to confirm an S-Sport version of the LC, Toyota did trademark the name LCF, so you can assume it will be coming at some point. Lexus's new flagship model is definitely a beautiful car, and it delivers performance as well. Even considering this and the sub $100,000 price tag, I still think Lexus's expected sales of almost 5,000 cars a year is a little high, but I certainly hope it will exceed everyone's expectations.